Well, we were going to change the commentary team, but Albert Kraus didn't get enough action because that last fight finished early with a knockout in the first round, which he was thirsty for. So Albert Kraus, the Hurricane, has stayed to commentate on this fight as well. We have Serbia facing Switzerland. 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 That's easy for me to say. And Alexander Menkovic in the blue corner facing Loik Nyaya with the nickname of The Beast from Switzerland. And actually, from Switzerland, but fighting with UK trainers. And I spoke to Loik Nyaya earlier who is absolutely here to do business. Oi. Well, it's here, soon, guys. Again, they're throwing knockout punches early the, the, on. The weight's going up, and you see there will be more. Uh, Oof, that was a oh, lovely yeah, right yeah. hand. Oh, the Courtney, yeah. yeah. Oi. Well, this is the problem when you get big yeah. and strong, you have to fight opponents who are big and strong. Yeah. So early on, we can see that both of these guys have got They're both power in the hands, yeah. the tools to knock each other out. But now only they have to search for a good target. And there's so much more to fighting than people realize. And it, it gets more intricate. Oh, spinning back fist there from Menkovic. There's so much more to it, just not, you know, it's not just about knowing technique. Oh, there's a, a knee there. Did that drop? Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. the referee's going to give him a count. Yeah. He is. Well, yeah, yeah, disagrees with it, but I'm not sure I do. Yeah, I think he has. But already, before he get a punch, he go a little bit wobbling down. Straight right there as they come together from Menkovic. Oh, yeah. Well, Menkovic here seems to have the advantage in timing. You have to keep distance. You've got to be careful because when you smell blood, you can leave yourself open. Thinking you've got the advantage and your opponent's about to fall over and then they throw the big haymaker. Well, Nyaya lands something of his, his own there. It's a little bit untidy now. Uh, yeah. Now, they, they don't know where is the, the, right, the right spot, I think. They're throwing punches and kicks without to choose a good target. The, the precision has to be better. Yeah. I think... Yeah, if Menkovic stood back, regained his composure, and I think the minute's rest in between this round is going to allow him to do that. Oi. Nice spinning back yeah. fist, which landed. Oh, and he's going down again. No. Nope. Well, a punch landed there. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's right on wobbly on legs. And right on interestingly, the bell, yeah. he yeah. could have got another count there <laughs> right at the end of the first round. And no doubt in anybody's mind who wins that first round. Goodness me. And if you, I mean, you can't judge a book by its cover in this game. If you had to look at these, both these guys and say who's the most power, who's the more powerful. I would say your money's gonna gonna be on Loic Nyaya. I mean, look at him. Wow. Looks like he's chiseled from rock. Yeah, but but it doesn't tell you the full story. If you don't hit the, the right story. spot, then it's, it's just also a little bit. Um, yep, on wobbly legs yeah, yeah. before yeah. that. Now, over in Loic Nyaya's corner, it looks like they might be working on a cut on his right eye. Okay, he has a cut. I didn't see it. Um, well, he comes out, he, well, I'm not, uh, I don't want to say too much, but he looks like he's still on slightly wobbly yeah. legs. 
So, Menkovic here is going to be full of confidence. Loitnyaya comes out firing. And sometimes your best defence is to attack. Yeah. And he come from Broly now. <laughs> well, Menkovic, when he gets his timing and distance, has got some crisp punches. <laughs> but if Nyaya gets his timing yeah. and accuracy... And yeah, then can go both ways yeah. again. What an intriguing fight. There, Nyaya lands two nice right hands. That's where it... Oh, oh only one knee. <laughs> and you... Well, what a kick there. You'd like to see one of them just step back and set something yeah. up. Well, they go too much to against them, against each other. So one step back and look for the distance. And where is, well, here we go, a bit brawling again. And setting, setting up techniques is not just about creating an opening. That was a nice knee there yeah, the knee was from good. Menkovic. But if you throw, a, let's say you throw a one-two, and your opponent yeah. dodges to the left every time you throw your right hand. Yeah. You throw it to set up a knee or a left hook or a high kick. But they don't, they don't throw a one, one, two, only a one. A one bomb they want to throw. Not too many low kicks. In fact, this is, if I'm not mistaken, this is a full contact fight. There's so elbows are allowed here, are they not? Yeah, they should. Am I mistaken? Full contact is on the, on the card, yeah. Well, we so the referee breaks them up again. Yeah, look, they get a little bit tired. So he's coming back. And yeah, yeah, there. Again. He's throwing things, but they're not. They're, the accuracy and the timing is just not right. Oh, nice left hook there from Minkovic. Now the end of that second round which is actually a difficult one to score. It was a little yeah. bit untidy. Um, well, that first round, in fact, I gave it a 10-9. It should have been a 10-8 because uh, there was a yeah, count. Yeah, it was an eight count, yeah. So that second round, how do we see it? Much closer yeah. on the judges' scorecards. Yeah. But I think the crisper work is still coming from Menkovic. Yeah, but in the end, uh, and I never like to score around a draw, ever. No, no. But could, but I think you probably find that the judges will score that a 10-10. But I'm not going to. I can't do no, it. We will see what. I can't bring myself we'll to bring score. Bring the last ten, round. Ten. I'm going to give that a 10-9 to Menkovic. On my unofficial. Yeah, let me reiterate, unofficial yeah. scorecard. So, Oy. spinning back fist there. Not enough power in the kick, but... So, they don't... This is KWU full contact rules, which is K1 rules. So no elbows, and you notice the referee breaking them up whenever yes. they clinch. Sense your rules is with elbows. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Um. <coughs> Oof. Oof. Oh, that right hand there from Matnyaya. Yeah. So still dangerous. This is the third and final round. And I have to say, Albert, the action's been so fast tonight in every single fight that they're going very, very quickly. Oh. And it yeah, just shows yeah. you. Yeah.
but they miss a lot. They miss really a lot. Well, I'm just wondering what the corners have, have, have advised the fighters to do in between the rounds to fine tune them. Yeah. I think. Uh, the and you see there, the when. guy get a little bit tired. But even there, when, when he throws that stiff jab to stop Nyaya coming forward, he could put a low kick on the end of it. Yeah. Which would be very hurtful. But they missed too much. They're both tired now. Yeah. It's a third round. We're coming up to a minute 20 left. Oh, oh. <laughs> big swinging right hook there from Nyaya, which if it landed could have been devastating, but Menkovic ducked underneath it. Now you've got to give it everything, guys. Yeah. One minute to go. The last minute. Every fighter tonight, or every fight, has been absolutely incredible. Oi. Now both of these guys have got the power to knock their opponent out. But it's just timing and accuracy that's lacking. The power's there. That was a nice oh, elbow. <laughs> oh, again. It's getting a bit untidy here now because they're exhausted. 30 seconds left of this third and final round. On my card, Menkovic is ahead. And Yaya needs to pull yeah. something out of the bag if he wants to win. It's only because of, because of the eight count. Yep. Because he's really coming back. And at that point of the fight with that eight count, he looked the superior fighter. Yeah. And then just seemed to lose the edge. Oh, I'm curious. Both of them very tired. Yeah. Um, a very clean matchup. I'll tell you what, it wouldn't surprise me if we saw a fourth round here. Yeah. It's possible. Okay. I would like to say that that is probably one of the most evenly fights that I've seen so far today. Both gentlemen really showed great heart. Fantastic. Our special awards presenter. I think. Well, it's such a difficult one to separate. Yeah. I think I would give that final round to Nyaya. He was coming forward. He was more aggressive. And if, the, if you have the first, the second round, then it will be a draw. Yes. Because of the knockdown. Yeah. Well, well, well. And what's interesting, when you, when you end up with a decision like that, some of the audience who don't understand the scoring just don't get it. Because they don't understand the gravity of a knockdown in a three-round fight. Yeah. Uh, so it's getting a little bit tense here as we wait yeah. for the decision. Uh, <laughs> take the long. So here we go. Oh. Yes, Menkovic. Yeah. Judge two, 30 to 28. Judge three, 28 to 28. In favor of the blue corner, Alexander well, Menkovic. Yeah. Alexander Menkovic wins it. I don't know how you can say 28 28 in favor of him. Yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> not but, possible, uh, but. But Menkovic wins it. I think that's a fair decision. Yeah, for um, sure, yeah. Both of those guys could go away and learn something from their performance. Yeah. Uh, but you know, when you when you fight an opponent who's when you're that evenly matched, and it cancels out your best factors, it can dull you down a little bit. Yeah. But conditioning did play a big part in that fight.